Good evening YouTube. Brew by me. Gonna do a beer review tonight. Yes I am. This is the final beer I have from this brewery actually. This is uh, from the Witchwood Brewery in the UK. This is their Scarecrow Organic uh, Golden Pale Ale. It comes in at 4.7% ABV. The label is freaking awesome man. I love that label. It's awesome. That's the one thing about this company. I really like their uh, labels and their artwork. It's it's really cool. Um, your standard Witchwood cap. Um, anyways, I'm hoping it's good. I've liked all of the Witchwood products I've had. My favorite being King Goblin. I'm using my big rig, a brewery glass, which is um, it's a brew pub here in the area where I live. It's owned by the NHL. Ottawa Senator Chris Phillips. So let's give her a pour. Okay. Um, it doesn't look like it's filtered. Uh, very slow carbonation, about a finger ahead. It's kind of a dark hay, dark straw in color. Um, that's about it. So let's give her a smell, see what we think. Hmm. There's a nice sweetness there. take a smell of this and you get some nice sweet malt you get kind of a it's kind of a cross between a citrus and floral bouquet and that's about it it's a very clean smelling beer it kind of smells like a, a lager or um, a pilsner that kind of smell it is an ale though so there's going to be more flavor guaranteed. Anyways, there's not much off the nose, so um, a little bit of information here on the bottle. Organically grown English barley malta and whole leaf target hops combined to evoke lazy, hazy days of summer in this severely satisfying golden harvest brew. Yada, yada, yada. Alright, so there you have it. I told you what it smelled like. I told you what it looked like. Let's give her a taste. very clean a very clean beer uh, um, medium to high carbonation I'd say um, light to medium mouthfeel so Take a swig as soon as it hits your tongue. A, a slight bit of sweetness followed by a whole lot of um, bitterness. Um, as it goes across your tongue, you get that bitterness. It's like a floral, yeah, floral uh, um, kind of bitterness. It's kind of like that fresh cut grass uh, kind of uh, taste. followed with a bit of a floral kick in the background as it hits the back it dries up quite nicely and cleanses the palate and you can go for another swig now this has a little bit of a hop kick to it um, not like an IPA or anything like that but more along the lines of a Pilsner opposed to a lager it's a uh, you know you get that nice malt up, uh, malt character up front, but right after you get the, that little bit of sweet malt, it's boom, it's that bitterness just right through your mouth. It's quite nice actually. Yeah, 
I like it a lot more than their um, their Witchwood uh, Blonde Ale, I think it is. This one has a little more flavor to it, and I like that. Um, so if you guys can find this in your area, Scarecrow Organic Golden Pale Ale, 4.7% ABV. Give it a whirl if you like Pilsners and Lagers, because it's right up there. Um, with that type of beer, except there's more flavors to it because it's an ale, so you're picking up um, a bit of that yeasty character from the um, the ale yeast. As in, like, Pilsner and Lager yeast is more clean and crisp. This, you get that, f it's kind of like a floral, earthy kind of uh, yeast estery, esteriness. So, Big thumbs up to the Witchwood Brewery Scarecrow Organic uh, Golden Pale Ale. Very, very tasty. Um, a nice, interesting pale ale. Um, tastes like a pale ale, looks like a pale ale, smells like a pale ale. Um, you know, there's not much more I can tell you. Um, you already know what the uh, the malt and the uh, hops are because I read it in the paragraph. If you missed it, it's uh, English barley and uh, target hops. Um, so there you have it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please rate, comment, subscribe, leave any suggestions or ideas in the comments box. I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. Bye.